A woman accused of shooting a man five times during a disagreement on a Dale County basketball court is claiming the stand your ground defense and her attorney feels she has a really good case for that. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has the story. Kayla Newby is charged with attempted murder after police say she shot a man five times at this basketball court behind me here in Midland City. But her attorney says that she was just trying to defend her children and that she has a good case for a stand your ground defense. Newby was watching her kids play basketball in mid-September when a man walked up to play with the kids. Officers say the kids and the man were talking with each other on the court and Newby didn't like what was being said, so she approached the man. She simply tried to remove the children from that situation. Um, in fact, it was their basketball and she told them to leave the basketball. Let's leave. At which point in time, this man blocked her exit. Garborough says then Newby was physically attacked by the man. That is when police say she shot him five times with her gun. She did what any lawful gun owner would do, and that is she protected herself. She felt that her life was in danger, her children's life was in danger, and protected herself. The man's condition was considered to be non-life-threatening, and he is expected to recover. But Scarborough says the victim wasn't even the one to report the shooting to police. A man, he says, appeared to be intoxicated the night of the shooting. The individual that um, is, quote-unquote, the alleged victim in this, he left the scene. The person that called 911 was Miss Newby. They will not file for a stand your ground immunity hearing until after or if she is first indicted by a grand jury in Dale County. Scarborough says that Newby's next court appearance is a preliminary hearing scheduled for October 24th in a Dale County courtroom where a judge will decide whether or not Newby's case will be sent to a grand jury. In Midland City, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.